All right, so um, Lord Jamar made some pretty misogynistic uh, comments uh -oh. in a latest rant against Cardi B sexy red and women's rights. Um, I only have the the Cardi B clip here, but Kamala Harris recently brought Cardi B to speak on behalf at a rally. Did you guys see that at all? Unfortunately, I did. yes. Yeah. <laughs> and it's pretty she normal did. for a political candidates these days to pander with propaganda on both sides. And that's kind of the what we're kind of kind of going to talk about here. Um, being said recently on the Art of Dialogue, Lord Jamar was asked about Cardi B's speech at a Kamala rally. And he shared these words about Cardi B and women's How rights. How do you feel about Cardi B? Kamala bringing her out last night. Yeah, I saw it. It was interesting <laughs> to have an artist like Cardi B go up there to try to garner, you know, more constituents to your side is just mind blowing to me. The way she wasn't able to speak. Protection for women, especially if we're talking about maternal and mental health care, isn't telling <sighs> them what to do with their bodies. It's supporting them and giving them the care they need for what they choose to do with their bodies. People like Donald Trump don't believe women deserve rights. And when those rights are taken away, they are nowhere to be found. When a mother is going through postpartum, he's not there to hold her hand. When a child is in foster care or in a shelter because their mother is not mentally stable or financially stable to take care of them, they're not there. They're all gone. Those people outside Planned Parenthood, screaming at women's faces, they don't be there when women go through stuff. They don't. Fluently was very disturbing. Her whole history, first of all, her history of who she is. This is an ex-stripper who admitted <laughs> to, what, drugging dudes and robbing them and all kind of stuff, who has songs like Wet Ass Pussy with uh, the other one, uh, Meg The Stallion. These are the people that you decide to bring up there to represent your campaign? It's psycho. And then one of the first things they want to talk about is all this quote unquote reproductive rights, which to me is a crock of shit. All of this shit about people, women, the control of their bodies, it's nonsense. You're fighting for the right to kill children, period, and to be murderers. So there was a lot there. A lot. There's a lot to unpack. It is, it is. Um, so the the broader conversation here. I mean, we can talk we can talk about what we we just listened if we if we care to. But I think the broader conversation here is about propaganda. Yep. Mm -hmm. And is propaganda good? Is there a place for propaganda? And does it matter if if Kamala ends up winning? That's the question. Whomever she selects to come out and speak, and if they're articulate or not, or rapper or history, whatever, does it matter? Does it truly matter? If she wins. And I will say, I listen to Cardi. Look, Cardi B, English is not her first language. Am I wrong here? No, I think no she's bilingual. She, like, she she's actually bilingual. She speaks fluent Spanish. That's what yeah, I mean. Like, she does. Like, uh, okay. Still, like, she spoke just fine in the things that I saw. Now, granted, she's Cardi B and she's reading off her phone. It's whatever. But, like, I think she articulated the stuff that I saw perfectly fine. Yeah, I do too. Um, and I don't have any issue with that. I don't have any issues with her being a stripper in mm -hmm. the past life or her being a rapper or have her having a song about the things that she talks about. I don't, I don't think any of that stuff is meritable to diminishing somebody's character to be like, Oh, they did this. So that means that they don't have a voice or something like I'm talking I, about a president running with felonies pending. What are we talking about? Come mm -hmm. on, man. So, um, but yeah, the propaganda, I don't You guys jump in. However you guys want to jump in here. I don't, my only um, issue with <clears throat> Cardi B or, or any, anybody who's been, a surrogate, if you will, for Kamala is I, I was by, I, I, and the thing is when you listen to what Cardi B actually said, regardless of how she said it or where she was reading it off of her phone, these are, th these are real things that women are concerned with. Yes. Okay. And like I said, man, it's hard for me to, not to make things personal when I, I, I know better, mm -hmm. but you know, everybody thinks it's just like, uh, women who are like, well, look, I, I'm trying to go to Cancun, so I got to go ahead and, uh, yeah. you know, you know, do what I got to do. No, a lot of these things are actual medical procedures that save women's lives. And there are literally women who are bleeding out in parking lots right now because of the reversal of Roe versus Wade in mm -hmm. the Supreme Court. So this is there. There are women who are actually being hurt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so I'm sensitive to that sort of thing. And, you know, like 
a lot of men, we just aren't, we just aren't sensitive to the things that women go through after they've had children, the struggle it is to bring a child into this world Mm -hmm. and to, to remain healthy and the, the changes that women's bodies go through based on this. We just think that women are, you know, selfish women, you know, abort their children when they want, they got better things to do. And I'm not going to act like there's not women that do that. And sometimes they do that at the behest of a man. So, right. you know, we got to have layered conversations if we're going to have these conversations at all. But here or there, I do think that someone else could have delivered this message, not because Cardi B was a stripper or Cardi B, you know, has songs that you find objectionable uh, due to their content. But because Donald Trump has been so unserious, mm. I think the way to really... Uh, if, if I was a part of her, you know, common strategy team and like, who am I? But, you know, I just say, look, man, we got to get people who on stage who are doctors. We need to hear from the women who have, um, you know, had to been traumatized due to, you know, uh, legislators and judges making decisions instead of doctors. You know, I know we can't be so caught up in celebrity culture. It's like, look, okay, Hulk Hogan and Scott Bayo and and Amber Rose are over there. We're gonna talk. We're gonna sit down and we're gonna talk to doctors. We're gonna talk to lawyers. We're gonna talk to the people who are actually been affected by policy. I just think that having Megan Thee Stallion come out and that because that first like I remember I hated that. I'll be I honest. Remember. I was like, no, now it's not the time for the twerk contest. Right. Like we have serious business to do. And so while I can't say I agree with Lord Jamar, because he also thinks the earth is flat and thinks he he could uh, hang in a debate with Neil deGrasse Tyson. But I think that if there's anything where the Democrats say Kamala does not pull this out, where they could have really done better is they should have been more serious in their messaging and not try to lean so hard on celebrity. Because right now there are people going through real things and like, okay, Cardi B, like, <laughs> look, like I said, Ja Rule might have some things I don't, I don't, I, you know, I, he might have some things I don't have. I don't, I don't need his answers right now. I don't need to hear from Cardi B and Megan. And I don't think they had sexy red on any of these stages, but I don't, you know, these aren't the people who are going to sway the people who are on the fence right now. We need to, I, I feel like, it should have been much more serious. And I could be wrong in three hours when they declare Kamala oh, we gonna find the, out. the, the, the I think, winner. I think that's kind of the question, you know, like, because, you know, not all propaganda is bad propaganda. Um, propaganda just means that you're trying to influence somebody. You right. Know? Um, so, it, you know, I think it's how the propaganda is is used in what way. Now, I, I, I'm guessing that they probably did some sort of polling and they probably were like, it would probably be good to get a specific type of base to vote if we've had somebody like Cardi B. And one thing that I will say about Cardi B, all things considered, is that she isn't just somebody who doesn't pay attention to the stuff. Like she has made multiple Instagram posts, videos, and stuff in the past. She has addressed politicians and stuff like this in the past. Is she necessarily the a doctor, like you said, or anything to that degree? No, she's not. But she's also somebody that is that does have an opinion that has spoken up about this. So it's not like it's completely out of left field. No, it isn't. In that in that it manner. Isn't. In that manner, you know. I mean, it's like Dame Dash used to always say that one of the things that people got mad at him about was how he said things versus what he said. Right. To your point, because sometimes we get caught up in how it sounds and appearance and delivery, and we kind of look past the what we always alludes to were called a meat and potatoes of what's actually being said. I don't think that was necessarily the case with Cardi B here though because Cause I she th- didn't say anything that she shouldn't have said and it didn't sound like she was illiterate to what she was speaking about. So so I'm going to compare what she was talking about to what Amber Rose was talking about. Mm-hmm. Good call. Now she was reading off of her phone. Okay. People read off of a teleprompter. You can't perfectly see fine. That. It's yeah. perfectly fine. Yeah. She didn't say anything. She didn't mix up her words. She was articulate as far as I could hear. I don't think she said anything wrong. And it, it nobody had anything to say about when Eminem brought um uh Barack Obama. Barack Obama out in Detroit. I mean, he he's a controversial artist. Yeah. Very what's the point if if we're not picking on him? Why are we picking on Cardi B? She was not performing at this. True. She was literally talking. And these politicians use people of the culture in order to sway people. Because, I mean, I grant, grant like you said, people that are actually being affected, a doctor, a lawyer, or somebody that actually went through something. Yeah, people are going to listen to that, but it's not Cardi B. They know who Cardi B is. People who don't want to know who Cardi B is know who Cardi B is. Mm-hmm. 
So they're paying attention based off of that. Yeah. It's all the, the cultural visuals <laughs> trying to get people involved that weren't before. Granted, I couldn't stand when she had Meg Thee Stallion twerking at the event either. Right. Right. Okay. That was just stupid. But in the same token, uh, Trump had a comedian literally bashing everybody at his like he didn't care an entire island yes yeah Facts. entire island entire Facts. people up there making watermelon jokes come and, on yeah. man i was like yeah. okay well, it, it, but once again that's where i feel like the democrats in their messaging should have been ultra serious and in it's and, not gonna do him any good though it, because you got trump trump isn't serious at all I, I mean, here. he literally had a, a a glass shield in front of him. He's talking about the the fake news in front of me. If if they try to shoot me, they got to shoot through them. I I actually I don't mind that. He's never serious. Yeah. So I don't understand why 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 do the democratic side of things have, have to, to be always so be so serious and upfront and <clears throat> uh, we're just going to take it on the chin and not. I don't. I ain't, I ain't for that, man. Well, I don't. I don't think I'm it's about speaking personally. Like if if somebody's jabbing at me. I'm not about to just sit back and keep taking this, shit, man. I'm I'm cool. And, and at the default, before you jump in, Jay, okay, at, at the default, like the Democratic Party is just there. The, the Republican Party's seriousness is the standard is so low. Like, yeah, you I know mean, what I mean. Like, you can do almost anything and be more serious than the Republican Party. Well, like you know, point. it's it's you know now that, now to think about it, you know, shout out to Terry, you know, you really did did kind of jog my memory to something I said, I was, you know, because you know how Facebook will bring up, you know, mm -hmm. some stuff. You, yeah. And I said, you know, and so like this is where I can I really agree with your point now. Now that I think about it, because I said the the you know the Democrats will show up to a gunfight with uh, charts and graphs and no cards, yeah. and yeah. the Republicans show up with a gun, yeah. yeah. You know, and so I guess, you know, if you're talking about bringing out Cardi B and Megan and 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 going all in on the celebrity is like, and you know how America is obsessed with celebrity and you know how these news cycles and how everything works. You got to start showing up to gunfights with a gun and the gun is celebrity. So, you know what? In this moment, my mind was changed. So there you go. Hey. She should have got Taylor Swift. That that hey. would have been Man. that would have been the ace in the deck. If Taylor Swift had came out and said something mm. other than. Her pretty much supporting her if she was actually at these events. Yeah, that would have. Hey, look, we, we, look at what nobody says. We've seen partially seeing these people makes people sway a certain way. Yeah, we've seen Park Park out there. We've Come seen on. firsthand. <laughs> we've seen firsthand here how Taylor Swift move and how she travel. Impact is ridiculous to his point about the ace. It's essentially just beating Trump at his own game. Yeah, he's yeah. just a populist, yeah. you know, like in that aspect. Like you listen to Trump speak. I saw, I shared this video, and it was kind I of. I love it, this it was video. Funny. It was of Shasta Streamer Destiny. I'm not a huge, huge fan of him, but he makes good points sometimes. And he said, "Go back in the last eight years of Trump and point out one time that he has actually detailed any type of policy in anything." He's like, you could ask him about tariffs. He doesn't even know what a tariff is. He doesn't know what the three, no. he doesn't know what the three branches of government does. And he's the president. Like the that, supporters don't know like, what the three branches of go government well, does. The supporters don't understand tariffs either. There was a video <laughs> that went viral about that. Yeah. But in general, like you, you kind of have to like, I, I think the Democrats are doing a decent job, at least this election cycle of trying to meet Trump where he's at, mm -hmm. as opposed to try to this fake liberal holier than thou nonsense nah just go and go and try to do the same thing that he's doing you know trump is going to bring out you know i don't know uh billy idol or something you know and, and then we can bring out <laughs> billy idol is even american yeah it doesn't matter i'm thinking i'm thinking of uh, billy. Doesn't matter. No, I'm th billy joel is the american billy idol is an american yeah, but, <laughs> but it, like i'm saying it doesn't matter trump would bring out a british person anyways, and, 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 and it would be like this inside joke just like them calling themselves trash men and then like you know like yeah. It's it's like you have to kind of meet them where they are because the standards is set so low. You got to is everybody that knows better knows better Facts. at this point. Facts. You know what I mean? So it's like let's grab the people that are on the fringes a little bit, and I think that's where the Cardi B's come in. You know, it's like hey, if she can influence some people because she's got influence, or Taylor Swift, or yeah. it's going to happen. You know, Eminem, et cetera. What trips me out on the whole Elon Musk thing? Is you have somebody that's from South Africa mm -hmm. who, who makes electric vehicles, mm -hmm. and they pretty much don't like electric vehicles. Oh, there's more to it than that, Terry. I, I know. This, this is just surface things. He was an undocumented immigrant that started wow. his business. 
How about that? Talk to him, Lon. Talk to him. Talk to him. <laughs> Just say it. How like, about that? Like it's there, there's so much, and 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 he also flip flop because he was very anti Trump a while yeah. ago, and now he's he's we're, we're watching his villain arc, you know. But whatever. Uh, we kind of got sidetracked. But yeah. I, my, my my whole thing about this is, is propaganda. I think propaganda can be used. I I only have a prop problem with propaganda when it's like when it's trying to be deceitful. In, and don't get me wrong, by nature it kind of is. But but I mean specifically like, I, I don't know how to articulate this. But like a political um, commercial that's literally lying in your face? Yeah, I guess. You know, yeah. like there's some stuff to where it's like, like you watch like <laughs> my mom. Shout out to my mom. I love my mom. But she shared this, this bullshit ass video. <laughs> oh. And it was like, it, it, all of the information in it was easily oh. debunked. Yeah. Just yeah. by simple Google searches, right? And... And it was taking different pieces of a clip and it was like splicing them together to mean something that it doesn't mean yeah. in a non-intentional way. Yeah. Right. Because sometimes that's done in like a funny way. The Democrats will do that in a funny way. They'll make it, they'll take Trump saying something out of context on purpose yeah. and everybody's in on the joke. Right. Yeah. This is one where it's literally bamboozling the, uh, the entire fan base to think yeah. that, and I do say fan base serious because they're fans. They are fans. You're a fan. You're, you're a, a fan. fan. You're it was chopped fan. up that well. It, I, I mean, could easily yeah. spot the ch- you know no, what I mean? I but, but obviously it's like, what I do you know what right, I mean? right, so, right, right, but at right. the same time and, you know they had music you know scored in the background it was one yeah. of those it yeah. was like Kamala does all these things and da 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 and I was like one simple search paste the link <laughs> it's just like it, it gets so frustrating after a while you know the, the, the party of law and order or d- don't understand what facts are. I Everybody else the, are liars. It's just Everybody else. But I you know, but I think the biggest the biggest piece of this, I don't really blame them as much. I blame <laughs> the media, quote unquote, the entertainment outlets. Like I'm 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 really hoping one day like a, a severe class action lawsuit is brought up against Fox News and their intentional horrible propaganda. Like they already did that once. Uh, what was it, uh, Dominion? Yeah, so that happened, and then they they got out of the the lawsuit by saying that they are an entertainment website, not a news source. Wow! And that their fan and that their supporters know that they no, don't. They don't. They, no, don't. they don't. they don't know that. Yeah, that's um, cap. So, um, but like, there's a difference in the type of propaganda that we're going to see on a like. Don't get me wrong, MSNBC, CNN. Yeah, definitely left wing skew, definitely propaganda up there. But there's a different type of propaganda on Fox News. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's like Newsmax is the new Newsmax one. is the uh, one. Hey, that's they wow for the night. It's like yeah. <laughs> it's like the old tabloids. Wow it's kind of it's kind of like the old tabloids that you would no, see in the grocery stores. The like, it's it's just like the sun, what's it called? The sun. The sun. The sun, the sun yeah. Yeah. I remember those. Yeah, I remember those. So that's uh, so that's how crazy it is. And I used to wonder back in the days, well, do people actually buy this? Stuff? Yes. Yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah. they do. And now now I'm like, oh, it's Fox News. It makes sense. <laughs> it makes sense. So anyways, um, different Damn. types of propaganda. But like, for example, like I have a secret YouTube channel where I share left, <laughs> where, where I share leftist propaganda. Intention. I haven't updated it in a long time, but <laughs> but it's obvious what it is. Like it's right. out in the front. It's what this is. This is for educating people that want to understand this particular thing in mm-hmm. a better type of manner. Everything is skewed in this manner. So pay attention to it, understanding this lens. And I think that's okay. And I think it's also okay meeting people where they're at, but I do have a problem when it's intentionally like if, if, if Cardi B went out there and she doesn't believe what she says, that's bad propaganda. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If Amber Rose goes out there and she's doing it for a bag, that's bad propaganda. Yeah. And that's the difference. Deception. 100 percent. Look, I mean, we just I just, you know, because it doesn't say who you voted for. But, you know, your voting record is public information. Yeah. Come to find out Waka Flocka has been out here as a Trump surrogate and has never voted. Never voted. Probably not registered to vote this time around either. He's just like, telling. Yeah. Bro. I'm actually very uh, and this is I'm being genuine, genuinely serious here. I'm very curious when they come back and study this time period based upon the members of the MAGA party and experts around cults and how that stuff works, what that's going to look like in like 10, 20 years or mm-hmm. when, oh, yeah. whenever they come back to research that. And, and, and I do kind of feel for that, like to a degree, like if that actually does happen, like if, if let's say Trump does lose, there's nobody that's going to be able to, to take his shoes. So you're going to have a whole lot of cult members out here just like flailing their hey, arms. I mean- I mean, uh, just I mean, walking around aimlessly, like essentially, zombies. because yes, there's going to be a lot of hurt feelings. You, you know what, though, he can stay alive, and that he doesn't win this time. 
He will run again. You think? Yes. <laughs> hey, he I mean, we, ju- we just talked about the lack of seriousness on his side. So to Jay Moore's I'm, point. I'm not trying to be funny, oh but like, think, I want yeah. you to think about this. After January 6th, mm-hmm. after he lost the White House, the Senate, and the House, and they were still like, this is our guy. He didn't go away. There was people literally saying that he's really still president. And you're going to see on this date and this time, John F. Kennedy Jr. Gonna, is going to they're going to take up. they're going to take the, the veil off, and, <laughs> and Biden, he's really a clone. That's not really man. They've been on a tear. One, Bi- dude. one Biden wears this tie, his and there's ears, another Biden that wears this tie. Pulled back like this and that, and like, have y'all never seen people that have had plastic surgery done? Listen, guys, man. I'm letting you know this right now. I'm putting it out in the air. Uh oh, Trump. 2028. Let's go. Let's go. (laughs) You heard it here first on the New Old Heads podcast.